So the next short one I'm going to read through mm -hmm. here, um, what I got out of this is trading one husband for another. Mm -hmm. Because we're staying along this line here about your testicles being crushed. You're yes. losing your spiritual authority and strength. Yes. Where you cannot produce anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing cultivatable. We'll put it that way. So, um, so in that case, um, we're showing what I'm going to show here is that while you are in this process of trading one person, one um, belief system for another, I, I'll phrase it that way. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're you're bringing in Talmudic sources or Christian sources or anything like that, mm -hmm. and you're bringing it in, you're mixing it with Messiah. Mm -hmm. This is what this text is getting to. Mm -hmm. And so this is what we're going to read. Oh, that you would bear with me a little folly of mm -hmm. egotistic, senseless recklessness, recklessness, and indeed you do bear with me. Mm -hmm. For I am jealous with warmth for you, and exceedingly from the divine jealousy that makes me envious with indignation. So he's getting angry mm -hmm. at what he's seeing. Mm -hmm. For I have betrothed by joining to the body you to one primary husband one primary husband mm -hmm. there is no secondary mm -hmm. no sidekick you know it's kind of like i had said to you and i've said it before um <laughs> people are not going to like what i'm going to say but i'm going to say it anyway um you're in the bedroom with your wife in an intimate setting and you're going to show affection for each other. I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the middle of that, your wife or your husband says, I'd like to invite somebody else in to this relationship. You only got one wife and you only got one husband. Mm -hmm. Now, as a you as a human being, if you heard your spouse make statement like that, you don't think you're going to get pissed off? Mm -hmm. Now we're talking divorce because I thought I knew my mate and they're showing me a secret side to them that somehow got in here and now they want to entice me into this perverted relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, going back to this again, one primary husband. Mm -hmm. You can't have different husbands. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of scriptures that talk about the harlotry and stuff of Israel. She has many husbands and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh's a jealous Elohim. He don't like that. Mm -hmm. So in the New Testament dispensation, this is what Shaul is trying to get across. So it goes on to say, For I have betrothed by joining you to the body to one primary husband that I may present as a recommendation of you as a chaste, clean, innocent, and perfect version who to me is an unmarried daughter to Messiah. But I fear to the point of being alarmed, lest somehow as the serpent who is sly, cunning, sharp, and artfully malicious, deceived through seduction of Eve, Hava, by his craftiness, by way of sophistry. Here we go back to this similar idea of Jewish sophistry, mm -hmm. which is clever but misleading reasoning. So he's attributing what Satan did to Adam and Eve, the mm -hmm. trickery that he used in that garden. He's doing the same thing to these Corinthians. He's the okay? Same spirit. Yeah. By way of sophistry, which is clever but misleading reasoning. So your minds with its false perceptions. Remember we said about the attitude up here? Mm -hmm. This mindset that if, if you don't guard this thing, mm -hmm. you're going to get false perceptions. Mm -hmm. And that's going to lead you down a road that's going to destroy you. And in this case, it's going to lead you to bring another husband into the relationship. Mm -hmm. So let's see what he goes on to say. False perceptions may be corrupted and ruined shriveled away by false moral influences from the simplicity that is not self-seeking that is in Messiah. For if he who comes preaching another Yahshua, whom you have not preached, who we have not preached, or if you received a different altered and strange spirit mm -hmm. of a de demonic nature, which you have not received by taking you and removing you with violence, it's a violent hostile takeover. Mm -hmm. You may not perceive it. It may sound real good. 
but its intention is to hostily take you over with violence. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or a different altered strange gospel, which you have not accepted, you may well just have to put up with it, mm -hmm. with suffering of it as well. So um, that clearly Paul is trying to show, and, and there's more scriptures about this, where he gets so frustrated that he basically says, because you traded in the husband I gave you for this other husband, you're done. Yeah. I don't have any hope for you anymore. Yeah. You're so far gone down that river with this new husband you got, I can't even bring you back anymore. You're gone. Mm -mm. That's how frustrated he got. Yeah. But that's what happens when you let this thing up here get ideas mm -hmm. that's not filtered by the word mm -hmm. and by truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. there's so many people out there just running from one doctrine to the next. They just all over the place. And, okay, I want to go over here this day, you know, because so-and-so is teaching this. And I want to go over there to this one because they teach that. It, 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 they looking for a completeness in several or more places when they can find it all in one person right Yeshua, right right you know and so they don't realize that they're going to join themselves to another one uh uh some people sit up in places and they allow like you say it takes it away with force they wrestling with it you know but in order to be accepted they scared to say what they really believe and so they adopt those to be accepted with those people. I, the prophets sit in a whole nation of rebellious people. But they did not go along with them, right, you know, right. in their belief. They still lived the manner of life they were commanded to live. If you sit in, in the midst of them because they disobedient, don't mean you have to be. That's right. You you with me? If, if you know you're going, and don't, I ain't saying go in a false building. <laughs> To do false worship no you're not doing that i'm saying you going where you see the traditions of people and they're trying to drag you into that hole of tradition don't go with them avoid them like tempted to say from such turn away turn away from them don't go that way don't go out there to throw bread crumbs in the water see it goes back to what, what the scripture we start off with in deuteronomy chapter 23 if anyone tries to cut you mm -hmm. in a manner that's not prescribed in your privy parts, yes, whether it's your penis or your testicles, and we're now talking spiritually speaking, uh -huh. okay, um, you're cut off. You can't yeah. go into the assembly of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. They have literally crushed your testicles or they've ruined your, your, your penis in a sense that where the semen, the seed of light that would come through that, it, it can't. The, it, it's not functional. The, 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 you left your first love. Uh, you right. traded your husband. Right. <laughs> right. You right. left him. You left him. Yep. So you, you automatically cut off when you You're divorce. Cut. Yeah. That means nothing through that vehicle mm -hmm. can produce anything anymore. Yeah. No, nope. That no gate's more. closed. Yeah. It's yeah. done. You, you cut it off you because cut it off. You, 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 you went and picked up something but, else. You know, the thing is, this... this <laughs> We as a people have got to get through this superficial um, way of looking at scriptures. John, we can have both. I love that doctrine. No, what, I, what I'm trying to get to is that as long as you're indulging in Talmud, rabbinics, mm -hmm. traditions of the elders, it's not going to let you go over here to this stuff. It, 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 it's going to cloud you. And I, I read some verse that talked about that it clouds your thinking i agree with you 100 percent. but in my fleshly mind john i love that doctrine because it'll let it's me, appealing yeah it'll allow me to do whatever i want to do as long as why i'm in your sight i can appear right. to be like you and you know you what know? you know what else was is good about it i, I say good loosely Mm -hmm. What's good is if everybody else in the congregation is doing it, mm -hmm. there's a spirit of camaraderie, closeness, friendship, uh, togetherness. You know, you can you can put all those things unity, but it's a wrong kind of unity because I dare any of these people that be watching this thing. Uh -huh. If you decide to step out 
and say, I'm not going to follow this Jewish tradition anymore. I'm not saying all Jewish tradition is bad. Right. I'm saying in regards to these spiritual matters, which would, where it really matters, where it crushes as, your as testicles. Give, yeah, giving you an identity. If you were to tell your fellow brothers and sisters, and I, I'm not telling you this in theory, because mm -hmm. it's happened to me. I've had wars with whole groups of people because I stepped out and said, I'm not going down the road you all got seduced into, and I became their worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Not that I wanted it that way. That's the way it happened. They will cut you off so fast, you're going to have a rude awakening realizing you were never really joined to them in the way that you thought in the first place. It was all a big delusion. It was self-delusion. Because mm -hmm. as soon as you say, I'm not doing these traditions anymore, they're going to cut you off. You're an outsider. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. but you're going to find a different kind of unity because now it opens you up to a relationship with Yahshua that you could not have on that other system. And no man can cut you off. Not in that case. Well, he's joined. No man can separate. Right.